slowly. So you want to go down to your back, bringing knees into your chest, maybe holding on top of your knees or around your shins, and just gently, slowly start moving side to side. So taking your knees side to side, you can go as, um, as deep as you wish. If you're going a little bit deeper to the side, so you'll name that spinal twist and the twist around your midsection um, slightly stronger and deeper, which is not a bad thing to do first thing in the morning. By doing that, you probably massage uh, your digestive system, your internal organs. more times you'll then release left foot flat onto the mat keeping your right knee to your chest now closing your eyes fully focusing on your breathing so we'll use this moment to connect with the breath circling out and back in. You can inhale as you go out and exhale as you're coming in. Then again, inhaling, exhaling. One Nice big circle. Then coming into half a happy baby. So holding your right foot from the inside or grabbing your right foot from the inside, bringing that right knee towards your right shoulder. Bottom of your foot, of your foot pointing towards the ceiling. So now placing your left hand inside your left knee, just gently push it out to the side. Take it back. Then circle it around. Make it as slow as you wish. Just 
it's not too fast. that hip rotation get into the hip socket continue to focus on your breathing half a baby on the left so um, grabbing your left foot from the inside bring that left knee towards your left shoulder and those are uh, circles and uh, rotations will actually warm up the hip so you can um, Open it more and easier. Especially if you're experiencing a bit of a stiffness. Um, as I said, due to the colder weather. Or even just um, sitting down for a longer period of time. more breaths and releasing now you can bring both of your knees towards your chest just hug them for a moment we're going to slowly stretch through the legs so you can even hold your legs point your toes engaging your core if it feels okay but that's why we want to actually hold onto the legs so we don't need to work core muscles uh, as much. Just point your toes, then flex your feet. Nice stretch through the back of your legs. Flex them a bit more. Feel it going through your calf muscles, through your hamstrings, and release it. Okay, we'll come up into a seated position and come into a bound angle or the cobbler's pose. So, with your feet together, bring them closer towards your body if you wish, if you can. The knees out to the side. Making sure your spine is upright, you're directly on the seated bones. We we'll inhale as we exhale, we come forward. So, hips should be ready for this position. You probably want to now pay attention to your lower back. Although we worked a little bit on the lower back stretch, um, even in that gentle warm up with knees to the chest, but also with the leg raises. However, coming forward in this position, it is um, stronger and deeper lower back stretch and opening. So if you need to start a little bit easier, that's perfectly fine. We'll continue to hold. Perhaps you want to let go of your feet and just um, relax your arms out to the front, palms facing up. And then as you 
hold. You're releasing um, and opening your lower back more and more. So just allow your upper body to fold forward in its own time. Then releasing, bring yourself back into a seated position, bring your knees together, maybe just gently extending through your spine, and then coming on all fours. Alright, so we'll work a little bit from the low lunge, so bringing your right foot forward, take your uh, left knee, your left foot um, slightly towards the back of your mat if you want to deepen that low lunge or open your hips a little bit more, um, just bear in mind that this will stretch through your left quad as well. Take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, Again, gently pushing your pelvic floor down towards the ground. Once again, just see what feels comfortable for you. Looking down, you may even want to close your eyes and we'll hold um, in this position maybe, I don't know, 10 to 12 breaths. Just focus on your breathing. Another breath in and out. Then bring your pelvic floor, your hips back to the center. You'll tuck your toes on your left. Inhale, exhale into downward facing. So remember, first thing in the morning, now we're engaging um, a lot of our upper body strength as well as that stretch through the hamstring. So you may want to go a little bit easier. If it feels right, um, feel free to go into the full downward facing with a strong hamstring stretch, um, shifting most of your body weight into your upper back, your shoulders, your arms. But if you do want to go a little bit easier, you may want to stay up on your toes. You may even want to have your knees slightly bent. But even in that case, you're still pushing your hips up dropping your head, dropping your back. So just see what works for you. We're going to slowly start moving feet up and down. Taking your dog for a walk. Just a very gentle fluid movement. And this will um, take a lot of, or bring a lot of energy to your legs. Which is also something we want to do in the cold winter mornings. Okay, let's now come into the full downward facing. So make it a little bit stronger as you would in a general class. So just heels down towards the ground, hips up. Hold it for 
three more breaths. Then bring your left foot forward, drop your right knee, untuck your toes. Again, making that low lunge as um, a deep as you wish. Right, taking your right knee or right foot towards the back of your mat. Once you've found um, the best alignment for you, take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Push your pelvic floor down. Close your eyes. Continue to focus on your breathing. Then tuck your toes on your right, inhale, exhale, back into downward facing. Alright, we now want to engage full downward facing dog, make it nice and strong, we'll go for five deep breaths. Use the upper body strength. Make that hamstring stretch nice and deep. Then bringing your right foot forward, turning your left foot 90 degrees, we're going to come into the extended side angle. So rest your um, right elbow on top of your right knee, bringing your left arm over. Two more breaths. And releasing. Turn that right foot um, in. Inhaling up. Exhaling all the way down. See if you can take your heel toe out. Then um, bringing your left hand um, right in the middle. Raising your right arm looking up. And releasing. We'll come forward, inhale, exhale. Bring your upper body um, forward and fold it in. If you can take the top of your head down to the mat, beautiful. Otherwise, just fold in as much as possible. And releasing, right hand in the middle, raising your left arm, looking up. And 
dropping the top of your head onto the mat or just folding your upper body in as much as possible. And then releasing, bring the hilter into uh, the original position, then we'll go into the extended side angle on the left. So lunging your left leg, resting your left elbow on top of your knee, bringing your right arm over. And releasing, quickly releasing towards your left foot, then dropping your right knee, your left knee. We're going to come into the extended puppy. So hands towards the top of your mat. Rest your forehead onto the mat, hips are still up. Then walk your hands further out. Just nicely stretching through your um, back into your shoulders and all the way through your arms. And just before we release, we're going to try and drop the chest down towards the ground a bit more. Then start releasing, walk your hands back towards your body, drop to one side, turn your legs around, we'll finish into um, a spinal twist. So arms out to the side, shoulder level knees together, feet together, then dropping your knees to the right, turning your head to the left. Make your body comfortable in the twist. So make sure that your lower back feels comfortable and then all the way down to your legs, even your feet and your ankles. You don't want any tension, you don't want any twitching while you are resting in the spinal twist. Just making everything soft and comfortable. Inhaling knees up, exhaling knees to the left, head to the right. Again, adjust um, everything that needs adjusting so the body feels comfortable on this side as well. Again, including your feet, including your ankles. Three more breaths. Then releasing knees up, 
Bring them to your chest, up and down five times. So counterposing the twist, stretching for your lower back. Coming back up into a seated position. Alright, so we'll finish off with a gentle um, neck exercise. So take a seated position with your spine upright, shoulders um, away from your ears, down and relax. Close your eyes. Take a three deep breath. Then inhale as you exhale, turn your head to your right, continue with your deep breathing, just go all the way to your right, once you feel you've reached your limit, hold it two breaths. Again, turning your head to the left as far as it goes. Then holding a couple of breaths. Inhaling back to the center. Exhaling, chin towards your chest. We'll then hold five deep breaths. Again, taking your chin down towards your chest as much as possible. Nice stretch to the back of your neck. Perhaps even down um, in between your shoulder blades. So just feel into that region. Acknowledge how far the stretch goes. Inhale, exhale, back to the center. Stay with your eyes closed for another five breaths. And just feel the relaxation through your neck, through your shoulders. into prayer position for your chest, open your eyes, namaste, have a beautiful Saturday morning.